In this week's video on Flowworks, we're going to be doing a really contemporary abstract painting this week. So last week's video, uh, we produced this piece on this channel. Throughout the week, I worked on some other pieces off camera. Uh, I really, really like this one. This sort of represents a family and looking into the future. I was playing about with a marriage invite on this one, which is quite abstract. And then I got into this concept of this uh, sort of light source in the middle for this piece. So yeah, really like this one as well. This is quite abstract. But for this week, I wanna create something along the lines of this. So I, I drew this one recently, and I just wanna guide you through on how I created this style, uh, come up with this sort of design, which is all done in Procreate on the, the Apple iPad Pro using the Apple second generation pencil as well. So to start with, I'm just gonna duplicate this artwork that I created. So it's duplicated there in my Procreate gallery. And we're just gonna go straight into it and I'm going to delete all the layers. So I'll pinch them together and then we can just clear them. So this canvas is 500 millimeters wide by 800 millimeters high. So it's quite a big canvas. We can sort of reproduce these if we want to for print. Now what I've done, which is available to download again this week, um, I've got a color set that I'm gonna work on for this individual piece. And uh, yeah, it's these colors up here. So I'm just gonna turn that onto disc and then this color set sort of displays below the disc. I might lighten and darken certain pieces as we go along, but for now we're gonna get going. So we've hit a new layer and with freehand, I'm gonna start off with just drawing sort of a box shape in the middle. And then we're just gonna fill that with one of the colors. Just gonna enlarge it ever so slightly. And then with that erase tool, I'm just gonna take the edge off of one side only. So that's our first initial layer down. I'm just gonna reposition that ever so slightly. Okay, next up we're gonna do another layer over the top of this and exactly the same again with the freehand tool. But this time I'm gonna sort of draw a circle. It doesn't have to be dead on. This is uh, an abstract piece, so I just want it to sort of represent some kind of circle. And for that, I'm gonna put this blue color inside of that. So once we've got our circle drawn, we use the selection tool again with three free hand. And we're just gonna draw another circle within that circle. Click it like so. And then we're gonna click on the selection tool and we're gonna move that shape outside. So all we've done there is cut a hole in that shape and pulled that shape further outside. I'm just gonna rotate that shape as well. But I wanna keep the shapes because it does sort of fit within that circle. And we're gonna click on the layers and we're gonna click on alpha lock we're just gonna add a bit of texture inside of this circle. I'm just gonna brush in. I'm just gonna take it off of alpha lock and then with the erase tool, I'm gonna use the charcoal effect and I'm just gonna break this circle up slightly in places. I'm just gonna add a bit of texture, charcoal, sample this color, make sure it's on alpha lock. I'm just adding an element of texture within that shape. Okay, we're gonna do new layer, selection tool again, and freehand. I'm just gonna now draw some kind of shape that goes over this one. I'm gonna fill that with a color as well. And the same process, we're gonna click on alpha lock and then we're gonna blast in some color within to, to that shape as well. And we can play about with the position of that, that shape if we want to rotate, rotate it slightly. And perhaps you just want to break up the shape as well. 
in certain areas. You can always go in as well, we can muck about with the hue and saturation with that shape. I just want to um, just change the colour of that ever so slightly. I'm just going to go into my circle shape. I just want to add some of that brown colour into this shape as well. It's like a beigey colour. Okay, we're going to take the alpha locks off and then one final layer. We're going to use the lettering brush for this. We want it on quite small to start with, so just double make sure you're on its own layer. I'm going to pick one of the darker colours and we're just going to create some initial lines over this piece as well. And then maybe there's one big line that comes up in there and one comes up there and then we can go in we can add some detail onto this Really, with a really small brush as well, just adding some detail onto this line as well. And then we can turn alpha lock on that layer so it'll be on all of these thin lines. And then with the um, charcoal brush again, it's going to enlarge it. And then we're just going to use some of the colour within these shapes. So I blast some of this light colour into this shape, it's as though it's sitting on the stem. So there you have it, it's a real quick and easy way to create a real contemporary modern piece of art. It's really organic, some great colours in there, some great shapes. But yeah, you just want to try and think of how you want to structure your painting and sort of positioning your different layers and then creating those textures over those mark makings that we created. But you could do a series of these and they'd look really good printed out on a wall in, in some nice frames. But if you want to get your hands on one of these limited edition prints, then there'll be a link in the description down below. It takes you to my website and you'll be able to purchase one. Um, all the limited edition prints are hand signed by myself before I send them out. But if you want to give this a go and you want to use these colours that I'm using, feel free to download my colour set. That's in the description down below as well. It will take you to the website and there'll be a link in there in the description that you can download the colour set. So I've just quickly mocked up that digital painting using Canvi. And as you can see in sort of a living space environment, it really sort of works well. So it's one of those great modern pieces of contemporary abstract art that you can create on the iPad that once it's printed out and framed, it will look ultra modern in one of those living spaces. If you haven't yet used Canvi, it's dead simple. You just select a room, then you can add your artwork. So I've just uploaded this one. You can select your artwork, you can resize it. I've actually got one sitting behind there, so I'll delete that. So you can resize your artwork. You can add borders and frames as well. So you can actually see what it's going to look like if it's professionally printed and then framed on the wall. So it's a great way of mocking up your digital artwork that you've created to see what it's going to look like within your living space as well. And the great thing about Canvi is you can select certain elements of the photo and you can change the colouring of those elements as well. So if your furnishings are 
sort of a dark grey sofa or your wall is a lot more darker or green. You can really dial in those colours to match your living space and see if your artwork's going to fit within your living space. So yeah, give this one a try. It's called Canvi.com. It's brilliant for mocking up your paintings, your real paint, your real life paintings as well. If you take a photo of them, you can upload them and create some living space environments for your artwork as well. So yeah, give that one a go. So that's it for me this week. Until next week, have a great week. Keep painting, keep practicing, and I'll see you in next week's Flowworks. Mm -hmm.